Hello boys and girls, welcome to Circle Time with Miss Stephanie. I hope you're all doing well. Let's go over our Circle Time rules, our Gimme Five. Can you give me five? Everyone sitting, looking at the teacher. Ears are listening. Mouth is quiet. And hands are down. Okay, let's sing our hello song. We'll sing Willoughby Wallaby, so wave with me. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, we'll say hello to you. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, everyone, we'll say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone, give me a wave. Hi. All right, we are going to, we're going to switch these around. We're going to do a little finger play. Okay, can you wiggle your fingers for me and wake them up? Wiggle, wiggle, and shake your hands. Okay, I'm going to sing open and shut them. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. All right, next we're going to do our movement break. And I brought our super cool movement cube. So I'm going to roll the dice and see what animal it lands on. And then we can do the movement together. Okay, so everybody, let's stand up. Okay, I'm roll the dice. And it landed on a crab. It says crawl like a crab. So try it with me. Okay. We need to have our feet on the ground and put our hands on the ground and lift your bum up. You can walk around like a crab. Go backwards. Just try your best. Maybe your whoever's looking after you can help you do it and they can do it too. Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to roll the dice. Ah, oh, this is a fun one. It says hop like a bunny. Show me that you can hop like a bunny. Let's jump around. Hop, hop, hop. Let's do it five more times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll roll the dice one more time. I'm getting out of breath. Oh, we have another hop like a bunny. Okay, let's do it again. Let's practice our hopping. Hop, 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 hop. All right, nice work, everyone. Okay, you can sit down. We are going to read our book. And I'm going to come up close so you can see the pictures. All right, our book is called Shapes. Can you see a circle? Yes, I can. Look, there's two circles. They're both balloons. A small circle and a big circle. Can you see a square? Can you point to the square? There's a whole bunch of them. Square for feet and legs and body and eyes and mouth and arms. So many squares. Can you see a triangle? Yes, I can. Look, try to spot some triangles in the picture. Triangular mountains. Looks like birds. And a triangular flag. Lots of triangles make up this picture. Can you see a rectangle? Yes, I can. Let's see, can you see rectangles? The body, the arms, the telescope, even the hair is the shape of a rectangle. Can you see a star? Yes, I can. Stars, look at all these stars. Can you see an oval? 
Yes, I can. So it looks like it could be a dog with a circular face, or uh, sorry, with an oval face, kind of a circle face. Oval ears, oval eyes, oval nose, even little oval whiskers. Can you see a heart? Yes, I can. Lots of hearts. What shapes can you see? I'm going to bring the picture up really close and you can spot some shapes. Circle, stars, rectangles, triangles, so many shapes. Okay, we are going to sing a song. And today we'll sing If You're Happy and You Know It. So do the action with me, okay? Let's get our hands ready. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Okay, last we have an activity, and it's a super cool activity. In your learning bags, you were sent home with this little container of bubbles. So I hope you've been having some fun with these bubbles. And now, we would like it if you could make some bubble art. And I have some food coloring. So, Perhaps you have some food coloring in your cupboard that your caregiver can help you get and help you do this. Otherwise, maybe you could go buy some. So I've put in, because our color of the month is purple, I've put in some purple and a little bit of blue to make it super purple looking. Okay, I'm going to come up close and see, because I started it already, and you can see when you blow the bubbles with the food coloring, it splashes and splatters on the paper and it makes some circular shapes. I see some big circles and some little splatters. So I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to turn the easel around and maybe you can come a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, come on a little closer. bubbles and we need to be super careful because sometimes this bubble solution can stain so you might even want to put a paint shirt on and you can blow bubbles right at your paper pretty neat and it works really good too if you have it flat where you can catch the bubbles. So maybe your parent or somebody can help you hold onto your paper. And you can catch some bubbles on it. I hope you have fun with that at home. See you next time. Bye everyone.